so we recognize the town to be Jerusalem and we ask the question who are those who liberated Jerusalem and brought Banu Israel back to Jerusalem if you can recognize who they are you have recognized God and Magog there are other footprints by which you can recognize them that they commit facade perpetrate facade facade in the political system facade in the economy facade in the money that you use facade in the food that you eat facade in the male female relationship ending with a man marrying a man huh? anyhow you turn it's facade there are other footprints by which we can recognize Gog and Magog they're very thirsty said the Prophet they drink up all the water of the world they'll pass by a river and drink it dry well isn't it time for us to do a little bit of homework and check out what's happening in the fresh water part of the world are our rivers drying up are our lakes drying up is there a decrease in the amount of fresh water available in the world when last have you checked out the subject huh? the evidence is overwhelming that tomorrow people are not going to be fighting wars over oil no it's going to be over water yeah but there is one body of water which supersedes all others in importance and now we come to the one hadith that has created a problem for the world of Islamic scholarship the hadith is in Sahih Muslim it speaks of the return of Nabi Isa alayhi salam and then he kills Dajjal and then after he has killed Dajjal for Ba'ath Allah Ba'ath does not mean release Ba'atha means to send <laughs> but somehow or the other everybody have come to the conclusion that after Nabi Isa alayhi salam kills Dajjal that Allah will now release Ba'atha Gog and Magog and when he releases them the first will pass by the Sea of Galilee if you are in the area of the Caucasus mountains and you're moving towards the Sea of Galilee you're going south south okay so Gog and Magog so Zulkarnain in his third journey had to have gone north the first of them will pass by the Sea of Galilee but in Arabic it's not the Sea of Galilee that's an English word used by the Christians the Jews don't use Sea of Galilee the Jews call it Lake Kinneret Kinneret and in the Ahadith it is known as Buhairat al-Tabariya Lake Tiberias hmm? all three names refer to the same body of water the first of them will pass by the Sea of Galilee and start to drink the water and by the time the last of them pass they will say there used to be water here I think this is a fairly simple footprint to recognize fairly simple like the tall buildings eh? 
that when you see the water level in the Sea of Galilee going down and down and down and when it reaches the point of no return that it has crossed the level now that the Sea of Galilee could ever be revived it's only a matter of time for it to die, to dry up then you know that you are close now to the end what is the water level in the Sea of Galilee now? the answer is the, the water level in the Sea of Galilee has already crossed the point of no return that's how low it is indicating that Gog and Magog have been passing when they pass by the Sea of Galilee where are they going? they're going to Jerusalem when they go to Jerusalem what are you doing with the water? you drank all that water? huh? we are dealing here with religious symbolism it's not the actual drinking of the water rather it is the consumption of water Israel said we're going to make the deserts green those Arabs couldn't do that they are dumb dumbs the Arabs and we have the, the scientific and technological know-how we can change the desert and make it green and the Saudis are now growing wheat in Saudi Arabia yeah but you do it at a price <laughs> the price you pay for making the desert green is that you will be consuming more water the nature can replenish we're going to give you the industrial economy the industrial economy consumes more water the nature can replenish and so you're tying a rope around your own neck around the world today that excessive consumption of water through the industrial economy and the mismanagement of water to turn the deserts into greenery is reducing the water supply of fresh water but in the case of the Sea of Galilee we have evidence as dazzling as the sunshine that Gog and Magog have not only been released but that Gog and Magog have been heading for Jerusalem for a long time now that Gog and Magog now control Jerusalem when we come back after the Salat al Zuhr, we're going to attempt to fine tune our analysis to try to identify Gog and Magog there are about seven minutes left before the Azan of Salat al Zuhr. I want to give you a little time to go perform your wudu catch your breath inshallah you have until two o'clock don't eat too much just take a little bite so you can get back here for two o'clock at two o'clock inshallah sharp we resume Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah